worst decisions uh, moving back to London is oh, I really miss London. This is where I grew up um, and having been here in the summer and spent a bit of time here with my kids and family. I uh, missed it so much more than anything else and last seven years has obviously been out there in the US for my job and now I've gone to Rhodes, it doesn't make sense. Um, it's better to be based here and um, enjoy London. What I miss most about London is just been hanging out with my friends, going to football match. Um, one thing I really do, did miss is going to football match, watching Arsenal play and um, I'm excited about that and just the normal food. It's really important for my kids to be happy, for my family to be happy, and if that's what makes them happy, then they have to be happy. And um, also, this is where I grew up, this is where we have all our family, friends, and everyone. And the uh, last seven years, it's been hard, and you know, I wouldn't change anything in terms of obviously, I have to put my job first, but I've always put my family on the back seat, so my family comes first now, and my track career is done. Yeah, I'm really excited to share the news to you guys. Um, change coach and coached by Gary Locke, and some of you might know Gary through Paula, husband of Paula Radcliffe, and he's a great coach. And it's important that you find somebody you click with, somebody you know, you know, and somebody you believe in. And I've known Gary for over the years, and he's a good guy, and he's a great coach. He coached Paula through when she broke the world record at, no, in the marathon. It still exists till this day, 2:15, which is pretty fast. So, um, yeah, that's one of the reasons. I'm finding out how different it is being, you know, preparing for the rows to a track. The track is just much more simpler and you, you can have quite a lot of races. You do quite a lot of races and you correct it. And then by you doing a race, you know how you fell, what you need to do, and, and you keep adjusting. And the marathon's different. Uh, you can't run as many marathons and you can't run marathon in training all the time. So I'm learning and it just means I've got to increase my distance and increase my miles. Uh, but everything I think is just slower and more of a longer repeats. So for example, like when I was on a track, I'll do 10 times uh, 400 meters. Now marathon, are you doing 10 times a K? You're doing maybe 15 times a K? It's all different, it's all longer. <laughs> I've got a long way to attempt sub two hours marathon uh, as a, you know, I've run my first marathon 208. I've got to improve from that. There's guys who've run in 205, 204, and you have to be realistic and you have to be honest with yourself. For me to just to turn up from being a track runner to go to the marathon and go, I'm going to go sub two. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm running the London Marathon uh, in 2018, uh, in April. It's going to be very exciting, but it's going to be tough ask in terms of, you know, London Marathon is one of the toughest marathons in the world. And they normally have everyone and everyone in the race. I'm sure it will be Elliot Kipchoge, Kenanisa, Wilson Kipsang, you name it, everybody will be there. And it's going to be, it's going to be a hard one. And I, I just have to learn, learn to cope with it and to train. But I think it's going to be, it's going to be tough. And for me, one thing I like to do and put this straight, is go out there and improve from my personal best and, and go on from there, not to think I'm going to go out there and go run 204, 205 now. Got a long way and I think as long as I'll be honest with myself, believe in myself. Mm -hmm.